Hey there, folks, and welcome back to the I Am CDB Project. I, of course, am your host, CDB. You are not. And uh, today we're going to do a shave. Once again, we're going to use the Timeless Aluminum uh, Razor because I still have a relatively uh, fresh blade in it. And we're going to use the greatest soap ever made. Bailey's Irish Coffee. Well, it used to be the greatest soap ever made until he changed the label and took the great Bailey name off it. Uh, Bailey's Irish Coffee, which was made probably about four years ago, uh, ish, inspired by me, I am told, and uh, I really, oh, I love this scent. Ah, fantastic. Anyway, uh, let's get to wedding phase. Uh, usually I don't do videos throughout the week, but today I have a little bit of time and figure let's Let's do one. It's uh, figured I would just shave this evening and and make a, a video and just why the heck not, right? And so we shall do it. Maybe I'll make a head shaving video. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, um, I had some questions from the last video about the fish I mentioned, which is a muskie, muskellunge, I believe is the actual name, but most people call it uh, muskie. Uh, look up just musky fish, Google image search on Google and you'll see it's a long fish. Uh, they can be quite large with pretty aggressive teeth. And so for those of you who just want to know what one looks like, Google it. Sorry, I don't have a picture for you. I would have loved to have had a picture, but I'm trying to hold the rod, trying to figure out how to net the fish. So I did not get a photo prior to it either biting I, I'm not sure how it got loose, but I assume maybe one of the teeth bit the line or it broke, but it was it was heavy line for the size of that fish. I don't think it broke it, but you know, you never can tell. Anyway, if you're interested in that, Google search, uh, Im image search, uh, like musky fish or muskellunge, and you'll see. It's an interesting looking uh, fish to be sure. Now, I picked up the Harry's razor. I'm not using that <laughs> Harry's razor today. I'm using the Timeless Razor. The Harry's just happened to be sitting over there, and so I grabbed for it. We're using the Timeless again today, just because, again, it's got a nice, fresh blade. Only uh, one shave on this blade, or two. Maybe two. Anyway, this will be the last shave on it. But it still feels quite good and smooth. I've been impressed with this razor thus far. Now, I often get to ask, uh, one of the you know questions that people ask a lot is do i need do i need do i need and you know the answer to that if you have plenty of razors that work perfectly for you is no you don't need anything if you already have it but if you want a lightweight uh, razor that's nicely constructed aluminum uh is the metal and uh, you want to deal with a nice company then you know certainly Check it out. Folks, you know me. I'm no no longer in the throes of buy everything in sight um, because really you don't need it. But if you have the income and want to add to your collection or just want to add an aluminum razor or you prefer something really light, uh, then aluminum will, will uh, work well for you. And of course, as you know, I'm a I'm personally a fan of Timeless, have spent money with Timeless, and uh, I like the products, I like the way they do business. Of course, I say it in every video where I use the product, because I, I think that's it's important. Uh, and I like these companies like Katie's Bubbles and this wonderful, wonderful soap here. So I think now this is called... Irish coffee or Irish cream or something. It's got a different label on it entirely. Um, I have it in there in the other room, but I don't have it hand, handy to show you. But it's still um, for sale. It's, it's sort of a, uh, it's hard to explain, but it was sort of meant to emulate the smell of uh, Irish coffee, which is a wonderful thing that I like that I don't get to enjoy much anymore. And I, I don't usually do a lot of them in the very warm weather, but uh, come winter time, I like to partake now and then and 
and enjoy them. But back on the, the topic of purchases, because there's still a lot of new people finding these videos. Um, you'll have a lot of people who, you know, you know myself uh, formally haven't been one of those people say, hey, buy everything and try it. It's all great and wonderful. And it is mostly all great and wonderful, but um, certainly I realize that not everybody has that kind of scratch to just blow, you know, trying things. And so they want more of a, a sure thing. And so this is why they watch these videos and so forth. But the, the sad fact of the matter is just because I like something doesn't mean you will. So you can watch and get a look at it at it and see how it works for me. It may not work that way for you is the thing because these things are, the preference for this is highly individual. So what I really like and appreciate, you may not, just keep that in mind, but in terms of the company and the quality, you know, I can vouch for that. Can I assure that it'll work great for you and this is the only razor that'll work for all time? No. Um, if you have 40 razors, do you need it? No, probably not. Not unless you're in the market for aluminum, lightweight. But um, it is a good product made by good folks. So it is worthy of consideration. That's sort of the way I would frame things uh, at this point. Uh, if I were still in a buying frenzy that I was years ago and I had a lot more discretionary income and... Would I buy it? Yes. Uh, and add it to my, you know, lightweight aluminum connection. I think the only aluminums that I own still are Razor Rock. Uh, the uh, Hawks. I think I have two versions of the Hawk. I might have some other things. I mean, I don't use a lot of stuff that I have. Although over the years I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff that I don't use anymore. because I don't like things just sitting around. But I do have some, a few things that just sort of hang out and I don't use very often. Uh, but again, good quality product as is the soap and as is this friggin' uh, West Coast shaving brush. Still going strong. I really like it, I have to say. Synthetic, of course, low cost. I like that a lot. Um, I realize more and more that there are lots of value-minded consumers out there and not everybody wants to be where I was three or four years ago, just spinning, spinning, spinning. It's crazy. I would advise against it, <laughs> certainly in, in uh, retrospect. Um, but, you know, it is a fun hobby per to pursue. But, you know, uh, this summer, and I've been, you know, throughout the years, the last few years, but I've, I've done a lot of fishing this summer. Fortunately, most of the gear I already own, so... I didn't have to invest heavily in a bunch of new fishing gear because, you know, I've been fishing most of my life, sometimes more than others, but been fishing since I was a young boy. And so it's just something I really got back into this year now that I'm settled and everything. And all my personal issues were behind me from previous, uh, previous year, 2018 or whatever that was. Anyway. Um, settling back in, you know, not moving and having upheaval in my personal life. So I've settled in and really enjoyed being outside and, uh, I enjoy being outside a lot anyway, but boy, I have really enjoyed fishing this year and I hope to do it well into the, hopefully into the winter, you know, much as I can, uh, every, and I try to go at least every other weekend. Um, again, you know, I've bought some things here and there, but I'm not spending a huge amount of money because I already own most of my gear. I've had it for a long time, most of it. And so, um, whatever your hobby is, you know, try to enjoy it. And if it happens to be uh, shaving, then certainly acquiring a lot of that gear is a big part of the hobby. Um, but I would remind you that, you know, don't look for the miracle, um, product that's going to stop all your desire to buy things that will just come in time uh, once you just realize that hey all this stuff's pretty doggone good this works a little bit better than that but by and large it's all good 
and I've, I've, I've said this numerous times over the last year because I just want people to understand and new people come to this channel, you know, every week and, you know, they're watching for the first time and they're in the throes of, you know, needing to buy everything. And I'm like, calm down, slow down, get a few things, go with it for a while and then, you know, expand. And so that would be my advice, I should say. Uh, as always, I appreciate you uh, watching these videos. Share it if you like. That's how the uh, channel uh, grows. And I appreciate all, all your support. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You are not. God bless.